you got to be able to relate to at least one of those things. Welcome to Coffee Break. Thank you. I've always wanted to interview since the first time I saw you sing Kuru Kuku Paloma. Mm. That was like, yeah. I need to do this before I die. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, that's uh, that's really uh, very flattering. Yeah, I love that song. I hope I didn't butcher it too terribly. No, you you you, you did it justice. I did. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of you to say. So this is the most ambitious Jurassic film um, to the moment. Are you excited to be a part of it? I'm so thrilled to be part of Jurassic World. I'm, I was a huge fan of Jurassic Park growing up, and uh, never would have thought that I'd be part of this franchise and. I'm really just hoping we didn't screw it up. I think that, <laughs> I think we did all right. <laughs> it's not about control. Stand down. It's a relationship. Based on respect. I love the character because it looks like a, a, a raptor cowboy. That's uh, that's crazy. I have that tattooed on my lower back. <laughs> so weird. That you would say raptor, raptor cowboy. That's just weird. Um, yeah, I guess he kind of seems like a raptor cowboy. That's kind of a good yeah. way of putting it. You know, yeah. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, yeah, he works uh, in a behavioral facility outside of the park on the island with some raptors, and uh, he's he's pretty cool. To see Jurassic World come to life is almost like seeing Jurassic Park come true. Now there's a real working dinosaur theme park that 20,000 people visit per day. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. That was awesome. It goes down an original road, which none of the other movies ever dared to travel. Action!